All right, all right. I'm finally getting around to making this video. Um, basically, um, Dreamcast mod chip, very easily easily installed. As you can see, it only has four wires, unlike a PS2, which has about 96,000 wires, uh, give or take. Um, but the reason why I'm making this video, not because it's hard to do the mod. I mean, with four wires, fuck. If you can solder, you can you can do it. I mean, well, they're not. Actually, that one's a little, a little difficult, but um, this motherboard, and in fact, if we look on the bottom here, uh, this is one that has a 2 NTSCU, like right there, it has a 2, and my battery on my camera is already about to die. Um, HKT3020, I think that's the same as the first model. Yeah, this one has a 1 there, um, and most of the tutorials I found online were for the 1s, like that. Um, so, when I was looking, uh, all the parts on the tutorials that I saw that you need to steal whatever from, like power and stuff, are all on the top, and it's all right around this chip. Um, and on this motherboard, it's not true. Um, let's see, this is, is Katana Main, this is a version 2.1, VA 2.1 MF, whatever the fuck that means, but uh, that's different than what that motherboard says. I don't remember what that one says. So. If you install a mod chip on one of these, you're going to have a hard time finding the same components um, that are on the motherboards and the tutorials that everyone has. Um, it's the same pin on, this is the Sega whatever, I don't know, some sort of CD-ROM controller, MPR21931-X2, whatever, whatever, whatever. That ship's the same. However, on the back, um, it steals from CE502, I believe. Let me set this down carefully. Yeah, CE502, which is, is, I don't know what the fuck that is, I don't remember. Um, it's got a positive and a negative side. The positive is clearly labeled, but it's back here on the back of the motherboard. Um, kind of next to where the actual chip is on the other side, as you can see. You can see the, kind of a, where a blank spot is. And then the yellow wire which uh, I've also seen the yellow and the green wires be reversed on depending on a couple different mod chips, so you might want to definitely pay attention to that. Uh, right over here, um, if you'll see the label, I should actually be in macro. I'm going to go ahead and do it. There's these three um, components here. Actually, there's a blank spot, and uh, the actual labels for them are right here. And it says, fuck, I don't know, something 512, D503, and D501. And the D501 is the one that you need to be stealing whatever from. I think it's a voltage regulator or... I don't fucking know. I'm not that good at that sort of stuff. It says S5 on it. Um, and you're stealing that from the bottom left leg of uh, the little triad there. And here's the other one. The CE502. Which is... Uh, I think it's a capacitor, actually. Maybe? I think that's right. Capacitor, diode, I don't know. But that's basically what I'm showing you, is uh, where those components are in case you cannot find them. Um, and like I said, other than that, the other side, the green wire on mine, going to pin, fuck, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. Pin 28, it's like uh, the sixth one from the right top, if you're looking at it like that. Yeah, it's in the same spot, obviously, it's just sitting on the top. But, uh, yep, that is it. Four wires, that's where they are on this motherboard. Like I said, this is, uh, version 2.1 or whatever. Looks a little bit different than the other version. Um, and to show you again, in the back here, this has a 2. And I always thought maybe the 2s didn't read backups, uh, but this one seems to read backups just fine, or at least the few that I tried. I don't know if they were... Um, the recent style of burning that people do. There's a, a different way of doing that first track, I believe. Um, that'll, that, you know, there's a way to burn Dreamcast games so that they will run on any Dreamcast. Trust me on that one. Um, not every... Some people say that there's certain versions of Dreamcast that won't run backup, but that's not true. There's just a specific way that it has to be burned, and a lot of the self-boot... Um, ISOs and disk juggler files and stuff like that um, just aren't up to date, I guess, because it's no one really cares. <laughs> I don't know how to say that. Um, another quick thing is the uh, disk drive is a little bit different. It mounts 
mounts a little differently on here than the, the one in the first model, so um, other than that, that's it, actually. So if you want to play some imports, that's all that this is really for, obviously, is playing imports. Uh, pick one up. They're, I don't know how long they'll be around, but they're like fucking ten bucks for a mod chip. Four wires, how can you go wrong? I like playing me some Guilty Gear. And, uh, fuck, I don't even know if that came out in the States or something. I don't care, it was cheap. So you can pick up all those cheaper imports and all those imports that you can't get anywhere else. Um... Because, you know, some of, some of those good games out there, you don't really need to know Japanese, but if you want to get the English version, you got to pay like fucking 60, 80 bucks for that thing. Screw that. Just get a mod chip and buy yourself some imports. So, you know, play it how you want to play it. Um, one quick little thing. Um, I didn't have, I think this, this wire came off when I put it back together the first time, which was a bit of a bummer. Um, and I was listening to it. It wouldn't boot, boot my imports. And I listen to it, and it sounds like it, you know, it checks the table of contents, it makes the little beeps and squeaks and stuff that the laser normally makes, but it won't actually boot the game, so if you come across that problem, just check all your solder joints again. Um, yeah, it, it'll sound like it's loading the game perfectly, and then it'll pop up, you don't have a disc in here, and you're like, fuck, yes I do, I just put a mod chip on there. <laughs> yeah, check that power, that's uh plus and a minus power. I don't know why they're taking it from there. I'd think there'd be a better spot to take it from, but I don't know. Who do I know? I didn't make the mod chip. I just fucking put it on there. Um, obviously, you want to wrap these in electrical tape and probably actually tape them somewhere in there because uh, you don't want that flopping around like mine is. I kind of got it jammed in the corner, so I think I'll be good. But uh, anyway, take it easy. Hope someone finds this info useful because I would have found this info pretty useful instead of going on a fucking wild goose chase trying to find these stupid components. Yeah.